Hey, what's up everybody? Michael the Ark here. Today we are back out on Call of the Wild with another weapon episode. Today we are taking a look at the FL Sporter 303 British Rifle. This rifle comes from Te Awarora, and it comes in three variations, which I am showing here. There are two that you can purchase, and you do not have to have a weapon score at all. You can purchase them as soon as you install if you want to. Now, uh, they are the burnished when this is one you can actually purchase when you install. The polymer, and this is just like a polymer composite stock for it, and I love the look of this. I think this is one of the best looking black guns in the game. It's very beautiful. I love it. And then we have the laminated. The laminated you get from actually doing a quest during the the main story missions, which is the only missions that you're going to get on Te Aurora. Uh, but it is free once you finish that mission. So it's a very good and easy way to get it. It's an extremely easy quest all the way up through there. There's nothing hard about it. So this gun is going to run you... 40,000 credits for the ones that you purchase. Now, this one says it's 40,000, but it is free. Uh, you do not have to pay for it. It is free. So, um, this gun is going to have five rounds, and it is going to weigh 3.5 units of weight. It has an effective range for all ammo of 164.04 yards or 150 meters. Both sets of ammo for this are unlocked uh, to start with by simply installing Te Aurora, and we will get back to information about those in just a minute. It is compatible with the main four rifle scopes, and that is the Argus, which runs 36,000. The Ascent and the Gen Zero, which the Ascent is your starter scope. The Gen Zero you get from the high-tech weapon pack. It is the night vision uh, version of the Ascent. If for some reason the Ascent is not working right, if it's not aiming properly, then the Gen Zero will not aim properly either for that weapon, and you will need to adjust your shots with both of them the hyperion also is a great scope for this and it runs 12,000 now this has soft point bullets i have never used the soft point bullets for this to my knowledge uh, they are going to be have a penetration of 20 an expansion of 53 and recommended classes are four to eight I have always hunted with the polymer tips, and 10 of them are going to run you 880 credits. If I didn't say it, the soft points run for 10 of them 610 credits. The polymer tips are going to have a penetration of 40, an expansion of 12, and the recommended classes are 4 to 8. In my opinion, uh, on Rancho Del Arroyo, the 303 works really good on some other maps i have had issues with its penetration i don't know why i'm not sure what's going on with it but i don't think it's supposed to be that way uh it just seems that since the rancho update it's not quite working as intended um this is an amazing rifle it is going to come in weighing one unit less than the 30 out 6 and it has one bullet more in the uh, chamber or in the, the clip for it so this is an absolutely amazing gun i highly suggest it uh if you have tail aurora go do the mission and get the laminate free 
and we are going to go ahead take a look at these with the scopes on them we're going to uh, then go over here right on over here and see how they function here in the range we have set our targets at 50 meters or 55 yards uh, this gun at long zeroing goes to 328 yards 300 meters middle zeroing is 164 yards 150 meters and then the short zeroing is 82 yards 75 meters now with the iron sights i do not really care for the iron sights of this one that much uh, you need to put it right at the top of that little pin sticking up there and it seems to be always just a little bit off to the right and a little bit it's kind of iffy it goes up or down just a little bit but it's always in the general vicinity so with the ascent Now you have to remember that this is only 50 meters or 55 yards out and we are zeroed for 82 so it is going to do that some now uh, it will go up just a little bit from that now at the hundred hundred and nine yard or 100 meter this should be dead on and it is we're going to go ahead and switch over to see how the hyperion works it is exactly where I put it. And it is dead on. It does seem like it has just a tiny bit of drop there, but that is to be expected because it is at a different zeroing than the actual target is. Now, we're going to go ahead and skip the ascent from now. The ascent seems to be dead on. Actually, let's not skip it. Let's make sure that we are accurate at this distance with this. So, it is exactly where I shot. So, I have no doubt that it is 10 point accuracy with the ascent. <clears throat> Pinpoint accuracy with the Hyperion and with the Argus. Perfect pinpoint accuracy. We're going to go right ahead up to 300 and zero for that. Now let's go over just for the Hyperion this time. It shoots perfect at that range. That was my fault. It shoots perfect with the Argus. It looks like it actually drops slightly with the Argus, whereas it does not with the other. We're going to go right ahead up to the 400 meter shot to see how viable this weapon is at 400 meters. <clears throat> let's try this right quick let's go for try this first all right let's go about a halfway down okay so I, it looks like if we were to hold at the top of the back about the black the top there at the black then it's going to be almost perfect. Let's lay down and see if that helps. We're still hitting in the black. You just need to let it do its thing and bounce to the right spot, though. 
And there we go, perfectly at the top of the black, and we got a bullseye with it. Now, let's go for the Argus and see how it works. We're going to just crouch with this one and see how well that is. It's well there. The Argus, I'm not sure if it was because my breath is running out or whatever. I believe the Argus is ever so slightly dropping further. So I actually held at six, the sixth line, and we got the, the perfect uh, bullseye there. So it is definitely doable. Basically hold it at the top of the back, and you can definitely get whatever you're looking for. Uh, this gun up to 164 yards or 150 meters will punch through the shoulders pretty much every time that I have seen. I've had no problem with mule deer or anything like that. Uh, at the 300 meters or 328, it usually does as well, but I have had a little bit of penetration issues with it uh, at the 328 yards or higher. So just be careful. Um, try to take proper shots, and you should be good. This is a great rifle. I absolutely love it. My personal favorite one is the polymer. Um, yeah, it is a beautiful rifle, though. I like it very, very much. In my opinion, this rifle alone is worth uh, Teo Aurora. So, uh, there you go. I will see y'all next time.